Welcome to the Sneaker Podcast, a show where a bunch of guys sit around a table to talk life, lifestyle, music, and all things sneakers. So sit back, turn it up, and let's go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Sneaker Podcast. This is Season 6, Episode 5, and I'm Mike D, alongside my brother from another mother, Christopher Chu. What up, Chris? Yo! We also got Sean Collard in the house. What up, Sean? Hey, now. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Ooh, oh, happy Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day. Day. Guys, Extra guys. Extra affectionate towards you guys today. Will you be my Valentine? No. No. Okay. <laughs> it's funny. My wife said the same thing. <laughs> uh, guys, but welcome back to the Sneaker Podcast. Good to see all your faces. Hashtag free clo is in effect, everyone. Yeah. Free clo. He's back in. He's back. He in. went back in. Yeah. He's, he's, for different he's reasons, like, though. Different yes, reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. uh, but uh, Chloe, reasons. we love you, buddy. We can't wait to see you back. Uh, guys, it's good to see your faces. A lot has happened. There's a lot mm-hmm. we're going to talk about. Shout out to everyone who's been listening to the podcast uh, over the past week and over the past years. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can always get us on the gram at the sneaker podcast. But uh, I also want to give a big shout out to our boys over at Canada Got Soul because it's their uh-huh. eight year anniversary today. Oh, Congratulations, wow, guys. Wow, eight wow. years. <clears throat> so, shout Very out to cool. the boys over at CGS. But let's kick off the podcast like we always do. And that's with what we wore on feet today. Chris, what'd you wear on feet today? Today, I wore some Air Max 97 Silver Bullet. Yes. Pew, 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 pew. Air Max now, 97 is a banger. I like it a lot because uh, you can't say nothing about them. Nope. Like you can't say that they're not super cool. Mm-hmm. You can't say that they're super hype. They're just right. They're just right. right? Exactly. Yeah. So I got them in. Them. Mine's a nine and a half. Because I, uh, I found them for super low, low, and mm-hmm. nine and a half was the only size they had. So I, I wear them nine and a half. Every time I stick my foot in them, <laughs> snug. I, yeah. Really snug. Yeah. But as I start walking, feels great. I love. Nice. I love feeling hugged yeah it is yeah. very nice nice shoe very yeah. silver Thank bullets you. um uh sean what'd you run for you today well uh if you hadn't noticed if you're watching the youtube us on youtube right now i'm wearing uh, for valentine's day Ooh. a pink uh crash hoodie mm. 2.0 2.0 uh from quality by the way mm. and uh to go with that today i actually pulled out for the first time my nike air max 90 anniversary kind of thing uh in the pink colorway hey the nice. pink colorway oh, that goes yes. with my pink hoodie very very nice for valentine's day yeah yeah very yeah. matchy matchy very matchy matchy man hey. Hey. you know what the wife probably uh, respects that so she does she does yeah. big there fan you go. very nice yeah um uh today haven't left the house yet but you know what <laughs> i can't give a big input on some uh slippers to wear in the house hmm. Uh, I choose, I have two pairs, you know, depending on if I had a hard day, one's a little bit softer, Adidas comfort slide, very comfortable, very squishy. Uh, But then when I've had like an okay day, I can wear an Adilette, which is a little bit harder, more of a casual kind of feel with a prime knit upper as well. Very nice. Those are my indoor slippers. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Indoor slippers. Can't go wrong with those. Uh, Guys. A lot's happened, and we have so much to talk about. Like, you ain't lying. Like, I'm, really I have a little tickets. bit of anxiety just thinking about it, just because it's a lot has happened, but uh, we should get into it, and I'm excited because new shoes. Ah, uh, yes. New shoes. shoes. Come on, Sean. <laughs> well, everyone who's wearing headphones, we really apologize. <laughs> I felt like an, an elderly, a very elderly this. gentleman when I, and I am very elderly, but I felt uh, even extra elderly. You're not I'm extra pretty, elderly. Come on. Come I'm, on. Well, compared to you guys, are. Uh, yeah. Guys, new shoes. Pretty excited about this one. Uh, this week, I was able to pick something up. Um, it was a double up. This is my double hmm. up. I was able to pick up a new pair of the ZX. Nice. 8,000 Bapes. Bobby. Second pair of Black Bapes. Uh, not the green pair. Uh, really, I really like the black pair. I was able to get them uh, a half size down to in a size nine. Uh, but I put it on and it fit pretty good. So I was like, I can make this work. No problem. 
Um, so I got them. I was able to get them for a freaking steal. Mm. Mm. Let's just say under fifty dollars Canadian, everyone. Ooh. Boom! Oh, whoa, whoa, that's almost free. That's almost you can, free. You and you know take, what? Think, that's what. That's how I thought about it. It's basically. Well, that's free. what I was gonna say. I think technically, in, in today's stand by today's standards, you could say you got those for free because like under fifty bucks is, is barely anything. You could find like, that under the you know people pay more for shipping sometimes. Oh, for sure, right? Right, right, right. So uh, severe <laughs> win on this one. Can't wait because now I get to wear them. Nice, right? Mm-hmm. Now I got one to stock up, so I'm gonna wear one and just wreck it. So I'm excited, like Ralph. I like that. Wreck it. Any any plans on getting the green? So I thought about it. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see down the road. I have some other shoes that I would like to get before I get the green ones, being the ZX8000 Legos. Oh, Legos. that's on my list still. Yes. And I want to get those before I get the greens. So, okay. Boom. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Uh, what about Sean? New shoes? I, I do. I do have some new shoes. Um, I got very lucky uh, yesterday morning. So we are Sunday. We are Sunday. Uh, Valentine's Day. And uh, I got very lucky with my first ever Sneakers Canada win. Damn. Sneakers yeah, I, I got, win. I won, I won, I won. I won. I got the chance to buy a pair of sneakers. Uh, I actually, I got, a, I got the Car- Carmen Sixes. Hey, sneakers nice. Canada. Very nice. Which is just a website. It's exactly the what same. Is that? It's it's basically the same as uh, the Nike website. It's oh, just, sneakers. They bring you sneakers. The sneakers. Yeah. You have, to, you have to go to the sneaker. They launch another. When you click on right. sneakers on Canada, they just bring you to another website. There's no app. Right. No. So, uh, but some some pairs are released on sneakers and some are released on regular Nike. And I can't for the life of me tell the difference. However, having said that, very happy to have my very first win on Sneakers Canada. Very nice. nice. Yeah. And what a great shoe to get it. I was shocked. Like, because that's I, a they, good one. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hoping they're not as pink as my shirt. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. yes. Which we can get into a bit later. Oh, but uh, very, very excited. Um, I, As you, maybe people who follow me on Instagram might know, I own the original. I bought them in 1991. And I'm very excited that they came back with the Nike Air for the first time in 30 years. So it's very yeah. cool. Very excited. Cool. 30 oh, years since the OG. Wow. 30 years, Mike. You were but a baby. I was, but a baby. You at least you were born for this one, right? Yeah, yeah. Only two, though. And that's good. <laughs> hey, you're, you're, you were solidly in the world at that point. I was in the world. I had a mind of my own. Exactly. Mm, Let's exactly. just say that. Yeah. Sentient. Um, yeah, exactly. A sentient uh, being. Chris. Th- did you get a shipping confirmation on that one? Not yet. Do we know if it's from the nether, nether regions, it will the probably, Netherlands? It probably will be from the Netherlands. So I, I look to receive that sometime around uh, Easter. East. 2022. So <laughs> 2022. 2022. Yeah, yeah. Panda yeah. watch. Yeah. Panda watch. I uh, found it so strange that it came from over there. Every so every strange. pair every pair I get from Nike Canada comes from either Belgium or the Netherlands. Crazy. Yeah. Can That's I say it. that I, I I actually forget we had Nike.ca like Nike Canada. Yeah. Like when you said sneakers.ca, I didn't know what the fuck you were sneakers talking about. Canada, yeah. I yeah. thought there was a site, sneakers. Like, sneakers, like Nike, Nike.ca, and you click on the sneakers I launch, know. and it brings you to a, just another website. <laughs> God love uh, Canada. Yeah. I, yeah, I totally disregard. I should check it out someday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, on my side, not anything in hand, but I think we, we extended the rule to if it's, if it's shipping. If in it's transit. In transit, yes. Yes. then we can kind of talk about it. And in that case, I have several pairs in transit. Several. Wow. It's several. through no merit of my own. It's just, it just happened. Uh, I love and, when it just uh, happens. Yeah. I'm rather, you know, they're all going to land tomorrow. Monday, Whoa. Or wow. That's a big day. Three pairs are landing tomorrow. Wow. Right. It's a holiday here tomorrow. It is. It is. Uh, In Ontario it is. Yep. I can tell you that I won't tell you what shoe specifically. I could tell you that there are a few pairs that will get me ready for Air Max month. Ooh. There's, that. There's one pair that's a a trade with one of our listeners slash friends of the pod. And we'll, we can actually get into that later oh, during nice. the meat of the conversation. Uh-huh. But yeah, that's happening right now. So I'm, I'm, anxious as some uh, might say yes you know very nice how many pairs do you have several pairs coming tomorrow you said 
Three you know, pairs you- landing tomorrow. <sighs> if the tracking is accurate. That's a big day. And uh, yeah, very happy. And there should be two more pairs coming down this, hopefully this week. Wow. Very happy. I'm actually, you know, ready to call it a career. <laughs> <laughs> you heard at it this here point, first, you, everyone. At this point, just call yourself a professional collector. Oh, do I, mean, I should. Did, do I need to earn this title or I could just, you know. No, you can just put it in your bio and whatever, on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Edit and bio. It Edit. Becomes, it beca- exactly. It becomes fact. Edit That's bio. Cool. Take it as yeah. scripture. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Funny. So uh, it, should yeah. Be, it should be exciting. Nice. Thank Big thank week for you. Uh, so uh, now we have to wait until it lands because when it lands is when you get the, the, the you visuals. Know, the good stuff. Yeah. Then we go boom. Like, you know. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a celebration. Yeah, uh, should be fun, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, th- what are we? We're Sunday, as we mentioned, the the fourteenth of Feb. Yep. I think a lot of us are still waiting on whether we hit on any Jordan One neutral yes. gray raffles. Yes. 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 Everyone, Oof, the waiting. I, I can't. I can't, I mean, I, I can't believe how many raffles there are for these. Like every boutique that we in Canada got them. And it's raffling off, and yeah. I think, uh, I th- yeah, it's gonna be. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm so hoping to get a pair. Very hopeful. Oh, um, we'll see. I'm surprised that yeah, the boutiques got them, the major retailers, uh, um, they didn't get them, so it's weird. Yeah, and well, here my theory too is I think this was supposed to be an all. Maybe I did I say this on the pod last week? I'm not sure. Uh, they uh, they were the supposed to be an all star weekend release, right? So uh, right. because they weren't all pumped into uh, Indiana or uh, Indianapolis. Uh, they spread the love to uh, the boutiques side of things. Which so it's, cool. uh, yeah, it's cool. kind of cool to see. Yeah. It's, it's like, nice to see they're all reacting in a way to try to get them uh, out of the bots. Yes. Hands, yes. Mechanical exactly. hands. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I have to, I have to admit something. And I, this is definitely not a knock at the store. I've never been to the store, but they seem like a great shop here in Montreal, hip hop sports. Right. They it, when I saw they got they're getting the gray the gray ones. I'm oh like, wow! <laughs> oh, so everybody got the gray fair ones. point. Fair point. <laughs> fair, 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 fair. They're it not a like knock again, on them. Definitely yeah. not a knock. They seem. Like, I would love to shop there. I will probably shop there at some point. I just it's far from my house. Yeah, but there, the fact that they got them, I was like, yes. wow. Okay. And here, let maybe maybe I can add to that. It's it's because that shop is like super old school. Like yeah. if ever you're in Montreal and you you hope to find older releases uh, that haven't sold out yet, they yeah. might have them. Right. So and, and, it's, on it, and it's it's not like they it's because they 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 don't it's cool in the way that they don't care. And it's not that they don't care. It's like, no, no, we're gonna do it our way. And that's how things should be. Right. And they do it right. Like they do yeah. it. It's uh, like they're not out there backdooring shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just putting it on their shelves. And if you come to their store, you can buy it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So I found gems at their store or there's like situations where I'm like, I wonder if this shoe is still somewhere in Montreal at retail. And I'll take a trip there and boom, there it is. So that's the cool side. Yeah. Well, story. they they posted that they uh they they still have in stock the uh air more up tempos in the Olympic colorway. There I'm you like go. that that was like yeah. a, a a spring release last yeah. year. Yeah. Wow. Think, or summer maybe, but yeah, they still have them. Yeah, yeah. So that's very you, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Not this it, is not no in no way a paid advertisement for hip hop no, sports no, no, by no, any no. means, because I've never shopped there. But uh, it's very, very cool that they, they got the... It's uh, like yeah. they've been around Montreal for years. years. Have they? But yeah, forever. Yeah, they're still like a, a hidden gem type yeah, of okay. situation. Yeah. Because it, it is just far to get to it. Yeah. Because that's, that's no, no highway path. leads to it. <laughs> it's all man. No. Uh, it's a so solid yeah, I, 45. I, I, I think I put the address into my Google Maps one day and I was like, oh, no, I'm definitely yeah. not going. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm not going to that part of town. Yeah. 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 I'll stick with my, my favorite Sam to back. Solid 45. <laughs> <That's>, <right>. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No matter which road. Yeah. But uh, nice. yeah. Yeah. Do, do, really cool people and they have cool apparel there. So there's that. Oh, nice to know. Yeah. Yeah. I get my info about that store from Sid, our good friend Sid. He lives kind of in the area. Okay. 
And every now and then he'll say like, "Yo, they got this at this store." I'm like, oh, oh cool. shit! Mm-hmm. And then I got to plan oh, a little trip, and then yeah, yeah. I think I gotta fill the car up with gas. Yeah, yeah. might go to La Belle <laughs> on the way. <laughs> so you can make a day trip out of it. Yeah, but exactly. yeah, fair point, Sean. That yeah, yeah. If, if they got it, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Good what stuff. boutique isn't getting it? Mm. Yeah, man. Very nice. Uh, let's move on to our quality feature of the week. Does anyone like to talk about anything special they are wearing in quality? I'm wearing some denim right now. Mm-hmm. It's nice around my nether regions. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, I have an unbagging if you guys want to do that. Oh, I love a quality yes. unbagging. So Absolutely. there you go. Ooh. Here's the bag. Is that? Here's the unbag. Here's a biodegradable bag. As well. Oh, Ooh, look at that tie dye hoodie. It's a tie dye hoodie. It's this official colorway is called the Milky Way. Ooh, I like it. Right. So it's got different shades. Like we've seen some tie dye hoodies from Koala before, mm-hmm. uh, but they, they have like kind of one shade going on the whole thing. This one has like different shades. Some, oh, wow. It's some, all I guess, some browns, some dark grays, and some lighter whites, off whites. And uh, I like it a lot, actually. Cause Very the, nice. The, the patterns are, are kind of different on every hoodie. Yeah, yeah. that's really. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. It's yeah. it's a it's off a perfect hoodie. Love the and, perfect uh, hoodie. Oh yeah, I'm a you big fan. Know what fan. I always, I'm afraid of of like when they do like this tie dye type of deal on some hoodies that the hoodie is a bit stiff mm-hmm. because of I don't know I don't know how to color it or whatnot. Right. But this not. It's soft. like it's exactly like any other of their perfect hoodies. Wow, cool. So really soft. I like it a lot. The tie dye hoodie. Um, I'm not holding it up properly, but yeah, you get it. Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll, that'll go with any sneaker too. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> it will. And That's you can always cool check point. out a full on model picture of this up at their website, quality.com. Yeah, and yeah. you can find most of their apparel at the your select Foot Locker store. Foot oh. Locker Canada. Um. I think we could lead right into a little project. We could tease a little project. We could tease a little, live a little, mm, little mm-hmm. something, some. As we mentioned at the, earlier in the pod, that Air Max month is coming. Uh, Fast. And now too. we just mentioned quality. Um, we also mentioned our good friends at Canada Got Soul. Of so, course. Wow. All the bases are covered. All the yep. bases are covered. Almost. Uh, Canada Got Soul, the boys at Canada Got Soul, the crew here at the sneaker podcast and quality will be celebrating air max month or air max week leading up to air max day <laughs> Ooh. and something cool is going to be happening i think um it's going to be in the way of you know show us show us what you're wearing type of deal you don't mm-hmm. need to own koala stuff mm-hmm. but koala's involvement does include uh the grand prize, the grand prize distribution or the prizes, the distribution of those prizes will be koala centric. Mm, I, like I think we can try to uh, wrestle in a bit of footlocker love too. Let's oh, see if they want to get involved. Damn. damn. Just, just yeah. for the prizes, you know, I don't sure. know. I don't know. T-S-P-X-C-G-X-S, X koala. X X Foot Locker. Whoa. <laughs> well, wow. there's a um, lot of collabs going on here. We'll see. We'll see um, what the the exact detail will be. We'll 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 get that all hammered out, and then we'll mm-hmm. just present it to everyone once we get closer to the Air Max month. But uh, this is this is your warning. Be, you have be, been warned. You have been warned. Be ready. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have. Been, it oh. is oh. decided. It is decided. Oh. It is decided. Oh. Right. Uh, I have, yes, I have it's spoken. Happening. You, yes, you have spoken. I can do it. I can do a line too. Hey, I have now. spoken. <laughs> hey, now. Um, uh, yeah, this is going to be exciting. You know, we'll be able to get uh, the community involved. We'll be able to get all their sneakerhead friends involved. Oh, look at that Milky Way, Chris. You got to model mean, it for us. Koala stuff just goes with sneakers, so it's. Yes, I think period. it's perfect little, little collabs, like you know, yes, synergistic. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So yeah. go check it out. You can also check them out at quality.com. Follow them on the gram, quality. Use the coupon code TSP20 and get 20% off your order. Works on sale items. Shipping super, super fast. And uh, free shipping, $100 or more in North America. So that's pretty awesome. All of our American friends down south and in the States, 
You heard it. Spend a hundred bucks, get free shipping. Check it out. Quality.com. Yep. Quality.com. Cool. Quality. What was that? Dot com. Okay. <laughs> Internets. Internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Now uh, we could talk about what has been flooding our feeds. Oh, my goodness. What hasn't been flooding our feeds? That's the question. Jordans. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> trophy rooms or backdoors, as they're calling oh, them these don't days. don't say that, what? Michael. Oh, people don't Michael. backdoor shoes? For shame. <laughs> For shame. Shame. Yeah, people don't backdoor ding, 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 shoes. Ding. But, uh, shame. We're going to talk about <laughs> Jordan 1s. We're going to talk about Jordan 6s. We're going to talk about ZX 10,000s. We're going to talk about Jordan 4s. It's exciting, guys. I'm I'm pretty excited. Now let's start with everyone's most anticipated, <laughs> the Jordan Four Taupe Haze. Oh shit! <laughs> That's where we're starting. Oh <laughs> yeah. uh, my god! Tope-haze? We've talked about it before. It's coming right. out, everyone. Now is it? Yes. yes. Now the more now the more I look at it, and the more I look at pictures online, the more I'm starting to like it. I don't know if it because it looks so rugged, and yeah. it's not so like clean and shiny. Uh, I think that's what I like about it right now. But uh, Topaz is a, a, a six out of ten for me, or maybe seven. Six. Wow. Um, okay. Hey, 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 hey. I'm the Adidas guy. Okay, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> I think its allure has uh, grown because people are associating it to like the Travis Scott models. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It Take looks like a model. what what could have been a Travis Scott another Travis Scott four. Right. Like a takedown of some sort. So. Mm-hmm. People are liking it. It's kind of like the Mocha One. Yeah. Jordan yeah, that's what One. I was say. Mocha. The, yeah. So. Mocha vibes. I like it. It's, it's, it's a latte, uh, a latte four. Yeah. There you go. Okay. See? See what I did there? Because it's easier. <laughs> it's easier to spell. <laughs> that's right. Topaz. What, how Topaz. do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Topaz. Is it all one word? Topaz. I can't even tell. Right. Is it bad yeah. that I want to see a Jordan Four Oreo come back? It's not bad, no. The, the, like those the, are the navy pair. one you're talking. You about. want to dip it in the in the no, latte. not the navy, not the navy one, the Oreo, the, the one Oreo. that was released the when it was, the, uh, Remember when yeah. they redid all of them? Black, cement, gray. That was the first, the first re- it was remaster part of the first release. one. Yeah, yeah. with uh, Georgetown. Was it Georgetown Fours? No, the uh, the uh, Columbia Fours. Uh, Columbia Fours, exactly. Columbia Fours or Legend Blue was they yeah, changed. Yeah, it's like the navy blue. The but the Oreo, they were black. the Oreo is the black black with cement gray, with no cage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I, I always thought that we were, they were navy. There's two. All right, then. There's two <laughs> colorways. I know with that one, the Columbia is actually has navy island White things. navy and Carolina. Right. The yeah, one I'm but, talking about is just all like a nice pebbled no dark navy. black. Yeah. I thought it was like dark, dark navy. No. no. You've just lost your, car, your, your wow. card uh, as yeah. being a, a sneaker. You're, head, by the you're way. no <laughs> longer <laughs> able to be a Jordan <laughs> get a Ford card. guy. Jordan oh, you're not going to get the card. How's that? We're, I'm withholding your card. Yeah. What does this card give me? <laughs> Just uh, respect, oh, which I have oh. none, none left. Wait, I get, <laughs> I get the money and the respect. All right, <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Paul is Walker better, style. Is it better to be loved or to be feared? <laughs> Good question. Oh my right. God! Wrong uh, place. Moving on, moving on. For uh, for the ladies, the ladies are getting their Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Silver Toe releasing February 19th. This is going to be a crazy women's release. Very nice shoe. I like it a lot. Very nice. It's classy AF. I wish the, uh, nice. you know, the, the championship one, I don't know what it's officially called, the, the Kawhi Leonard one. With yeah, the, the silver I think they called it the Kawhi, I think. Yeah. Kawhi. I, I, I wish it looked like this silver yeah. toe more it's very the, the nice. silver they're very nice better yeah they're very nice the, the, the ladies release the Women's leather release. looks fantastic especially yeah. around the outside of the collar Woo. it's cool it's still it's women's gs and toddler size that's cool the al- almost full family size run just just yeah. left out the dads oh, yeah there you go yeah unless you got a big you know it's a it's a extended sizing yes the dads are included right, right or unless the dad has small feet Less true, 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 true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, guys, the ZX10,000, part of our, the AZX cla- uh, blockbuster through Adidas, has released a... I got a lot of people asking me if I was into this shoe, and I have to be honest, I am not. Hmm. I'm hmm. not a big fan of the shoe. Uh, me, I'm not a massive, massive fan of the Simpsons. I respect the 
Simpsons and I watch it when I have nothing else to do. Um, but uh, and there's literally nothing else on the television. <laughs> well, exactly. And I just want to throw something on. Yeah. And Family um, Guy's not it's on. More, it's more background noise than exactly. it is a show to watch. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, uh, the concept behind it was pretty cool. Uh, they called the Krusty Burger. Very cool. It looks very cartoony. Of course, the Adidas Trifoil does kind of look like uh like Krusty's head when you kind of think about it with the way his hair goes mm -hmm. and the way it points right. up in the top you know uh a lot of people were jumping on this bandwagon and uh hey if you like them you like them if you don't that's me <laughs> uh i like how it doesn't have a weird tongue on it that's leather that's what i do like about it because okay. i hate when a 10,000 has a like a leather tongue that's just rounded but it looks Fair. comfy as uh all get out so nice I and don't something positive like that. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> if it's if I find it very specific. Yeah. Like like Simpsons. you have to like Simpsons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like if you clown. wear this, I assume you love the Simpsons. Not like the Simpsons. Yeah. You love the Simpsons. <laughs> yeah. Right. But I guess don't yeah. they do that with a, a lot of stuff? The what do you call it there? Like themed uh, yeah, the collabs theme, the, and stuff. Yeah. The, the movies yeah. and the TV shows and stuff. So. See, yeah, uh, our SpongeBob boy, uh, wasn't there was a SpongeBob something somewhere at some point. Yeah, they SpongeBob made like Timberlands. There was like Timberlands. Wasn't there a, a the Lego? Kyrie, isn't there, didn't you get a Lego, a Lego as well? A Lego? What? A Lego shoe recently? Uh, I want the Lego oh, shoe. You want the Lego yeah. shoe? I but do. See, you you got to be into Lego to like exactly. That, no? And like Lego was such a big part of my life when I was a kid. So go. I'm like, same. it makes sense. Yeah. Right. Uh, and that's exactly what this is. Our boy out in Vancouver, Paul Simons. Shout out to Paul. IBS negative on the gram. Uh, he went and got his shoes and he left with them in a Simpsons tote bag. Ah, I'm like, oh, cool. that's a guy who knows exactly what he wants. That's okay. right. right. So uh, shout out to Paul. But, the, you uh, know, but like, sold out. They went out pretty quick. The, uh, the Lego shoe mm -hmm. without any actual bricks attached to it. Mm -hmm. If it didn't have the Lego logo... Mm -hmm. visible you would just say oh that's a shoe yeah like you wouldn't immediately associate lego yeah yeah, yeah. but this crusty burger zx 10,000 yeah undeniable it's a it's a <laughs> it's definitely a simpsons shoe <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 it is and the, the details like with the labre on it and like on the inside the insole is very nice as well but uh and gum sole you know gum sole i'll give you credit for that gum sole is nice um and a 10,000 is always nice but Unfortunately, the colorway trumps everything on this one, you know? Yes, yes. It overtakes the... Uh, yeah, it consumes else. it. So uh, maybe next time, looking forward to the end. We're getting to the end of AZX, so uh, a lot of cool releases coming up soon. Now, why 10,000? Have there been 10,000 iterations of the sneaker? No, there has not. Oh, okay. Just check to uh, form the midsole, the outsole of the shoe, yes. you need 10,000 cc's of uh, kilojoules ah, to awesome. uh, infuse oh, wow. uh, some, uh, you, you know, know you, you, you get your science, card back. Uh, you get your respect card back. <laughs> well, there's 4,000, <laughs> there's 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, oh, 8,000, It goes up by, goes by thousands. Oh, yeah, because thousands see. are better than one. I gotcha. I gotcha. You can't go by single digits. And yeah, you know what you else can't. you can't? You can't make friends with salad. You can't. <laughs> uh, moving on, guys. Uh, you said you got the Mr. Sean Collard, the original release of the Air Jordan 6 Carmine or Carmen. Mm -hmm. Whichever you prefer. Uh, with the Nike Air on the back, 30 years later. Uh, yeah. are you, you don't have them in hand yet, right? I don't so, have them in the hand yet. Uh, well, what a crazy release. What a crazy release, man. If you were uh, lucky of, to get a pair. A lot of trepidation going yes. in because people were worried they're going to get a pink pair. Uh, I've seen a lot of people posting. A lot of people posted that they, they struck out. Uh, so my condolences. I know how that feels. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people posted that with those who did get a pair and theirs were white. Uh, the midsoles were white. So I guess um, I think uh, Nike did a good job in terms of making sure that the big retailers like Foot Locker and that were, were sending back the defective pairs to mm -hmm. Nike and not selling them. So like here in Canada, we have a bit of a delayed release on the men's sizing. Um, and so hopefully I'll snap a, another pair there. Um, I got actually on a side note, I got my wifey a pair for Valentine's Day. Oh, hey. yes, yes, oh that's yes. kind of perfect. What a great pair. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Uh, and so, but yeah, it, it's, it's uh, not a great look. It's not a great look. <laughs> I gotta say, I love my brand, but uh, this, this a defect on a major release like that, and it, it snuck through the quality control. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how that works. But yeah, I'm know. actually so your 
the explanation of them having to take back some of the pairs explains why people are kind of going crazy for this one. Like I saw videos yeah. of, I think in, oh, New York. in New York where yeah. people were just crashing this yeah, like uh, old school store. Yeah. And like uh, black Friday, like a black Friday thing, just yeah. crashing through the doors. Right Any first come first serve type of releases were like, there was actual lineups for this. And I'm like, wow. Cause before the release, we didn't hear a lot of, like there wasn't a lot of hype around it. It was just like everyone knew it was coming back, but it wasn't yeah. like this is the one, you know, to cause such commotion. So for sure, I I, I don't I I have a feeling that it has to do something, has something to do with all of the hype around the trophy room ones, the the gray uh, the gray the neutral gray or natural gray whatever not neutral gray they're calling these ones. It used to be natural gray, but whatever uh 85s the, all of this was like people were going nuts over those and pissed off they couldn't get them and then uh the carmens came in and i guess people were then they were worried they were you know good, not gonna get a if they were gonna get a pink pair and mm. i don't know i feel like the whole the whole last couple of weeks was like people were in a frenzy over something yep uh, and not in a good way either not not not, yeah, yeah, yeah. not 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 necessarily excited about the they may have started out being excited about the release but quickly became very angry about the release <laughs> Uh, and so I guess, I guess it, I think that sort of culminated with the, the, the release of the Carmen's and, uh, um, we would, that's why we saw these friggin' people crashing door through doors at, in New York city, but I don't out. know. I, I don't know. I don't know for me personally, I don't know that this is a path that, uh, like I understand the theory behind it. Like if, if you want, you want to create hype, you want your shoe to be popular, but I don't know, like, this is the, like, when it gets to this level where people are, like, now, like, angry about it, mm. I don't know if this is what the, the, the right, the right, you know, path to go down as a, as a brand. Uh, this is not the way. Yeah, like, like I understand making, I understand making things limited because you want people to have, the way you want that demand, the hype to be there. But now it's like, you've, it's kind of crossed over to people are pissed off and uh, it's not just the average, like, oh, I couldn't get it, so I'm pissed off. People are, like, legit, like, fucking screaming yeah, angry about yeah. it you know and very uh, angry especially with the trophy room ones that was that was bad that was a bad <laughs> scene that was a bad look but like okay not 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 speaking of the trophy room one situation yeah. yet yeah the carmine anger you think it's it's far past the any any news is good news or any mention is a good mention whether it be like bad or good I think so because it's like this was supposed to be like this was the big going to be the big release and not, like they were going to have the 85 ones the trophy room ones and the Carmen 6s at All-Star weekend so these mm-hmm. were going to be the big but the Carmen 6s were going to be like 400,000 pairs were going out and then you know a bunch were defective um and I think like I said it's just a it it it, it was a, a combination of all of these three releases led to the f- people now just being fucking angry as hell. Yeah. Uh, and I, but I think, I think the, if we get into the trophy room release a bit more, uh, which I know we will, but I think that was the one that really got people really, really, really pissed yeah. off. Yeah. You know, we, uh, uh, yeah. So I don't, I don't know. I, I do, I do think it's, it's crossed the line of, of being uh, any, any, any press. Cause it, when it, when you top off those three releases with, a, a bad release in a sense that a bunch of the pairs were defective. Yeah. And that's like a pair that's, that you should have gotten, you know, you should have been paying attention to for sure because it's been 30 years since we saw Nike Air on the heel and all that stuff. And it's an OG colorway. And it, it, when that comes out and it's like, oh, f- great. Not only can they, are they limiting ship, but now the ones that are supposed to be flooded, flooding the market are, you know, oh. God knows how many pairs are defective and are we going to get a pink pair? And, right, you yeah. know, it's just a bad, it's a bad look. And you know, I love my brand and my, my, my Jordan brand, but you know, sometimes well, it's like, you, you got to do better sometimes. What if um, this year, of course, we do, we're not getting the full all-star game weekend happening, right? Yeah. Usually a huge, huge time for sneakers in terms of hype releases and limited releases and access and all that. So they don't have that to play off of. But then this situation presents itself, causes a bit of commotion. Like if there were an all-star game, then people would be angry that, well, why is it only releasing at, at in Indiana? You know, yeah, exactly. Indianapolis. Yeah. But now the, the anger is just like, whoa, what's going on? Like how come it's so limited? Blah, blah, blah. I should have gotten yeah. my pair. Yeah. 
it kind of creates this commotion where people are now on high alert. Yes. And any following release of Jordans will have always that little, should I be better prepared for it? Should I pay more attention to where they're coming out? Yeah. I'm not mad at this play if it's an actual play and yeah. not an actual situation, which yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah. if this were like premeditated, I'd be like, mm. oh, that's kind of smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know that I know like the, the new beginnings pack and, I, and I'm, I'm, uh, I know I can. I can't really speak of uh, on this uh, uh, objectively because I, I got the I got the pack, uh, but people were uh, livid at yeah. that release, and uh, because it was Chicago only, and I think or there's maybe one other boutique in New York that got it. I think that weekend, but in Chicago that All Star weekend last year, but that that release started kicked that off where people, and that's still fresh in people's minds. So people are like, here we go again with a like a pairs that not only are limited but are like literally impossible to get mm-hmm. because if you're not in the right city or if you don't know marcus jordan <laughs> you may not get a pair <laughs> wait you gotta know someone <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, i don't know oh man yeah. dude it's so. just and those are all that's all uh, alleged but uh yeah I, I don't know i don't know i, I don't i don't know that you need this like your dude like jordan brand you okay. know I love you. You're winning, though. You're already winning. <laughs> like, you're a multi-billion-dollar company. You're winning. I yeah. don't know that you need this level of frenzy around a particular release and like every release that's coming. Not every release that's coming out, but all these big releases are like people are angry about it now. I mean, I, and that that's par for the course with even going back years when. I mean, there was a lot of years where I couldn't get pairs and I was getting frustrated. I may have written a, a, a nastily worded email here and there. <laughs> to a one or two. Just one or two. <laughs> but yeah, uh, to, a, to a, maybe a boutique here and there. Like signed Scott. Uh, yeah, <laughs> signed Uncle Scott. But so I get it. I get the frustration, but this is like, seems to be like a whole other level of, right. of frustration that people are experiencing now. And uh, it's, not, it's not good. And I don't know. So, I don't so, know what to, how to remedy it. I don't know because you can't flood the market because then people are worried about uh, stuff sitting on the shelves. So, what, what you, wait, you're talking? You're still talking about Carmine, or you talking about I'm just, the right AG now? One? I'm talking okay, about anything, the anything. general, the okay. general sneaker world right now, or in yeah. terms of Nike and Jordan brand. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's. I don't know. It's, it's gotten a little bit ugly for the last couple of weeks, and uh, it's, it's been a disappointing thing for me to see. Well, for for me being kind of on the outside because I wasn't gunning for this release. Right. It put this release on my radar. Mm -hmm. For sure. So it had that effect. For sure. And but what but what did you see when you saw it on the when when, when, when I didn't know there was that hype. I didn't know that there were in that much demand. Right. right. You talk about are you are we talking about the the car Carmen? Carmen? Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, for sure. I didn't realize there'd be that in that much in demand either. And you know, friends uh my friends in uh with the OG support group uh most of them couldn't get a pair, which was holy shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know and that. they're wow. all they're in the states, uh, which you would right. think that would get the most pairs. So you they they were pretty pissed. I mean, Corey got his pair because uh, he's a, sort of affiliated with one of his boutiques uh, near right. near him. But um, besides that, they did like my guys couldn't get a pair. So oh man, they, I didn't know that. Yeah, none oh, of them got a pair. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, they're they're yeah. pretty pissed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> but so that that's the thing. It's like, but I think because there were defective pairs and pairs to be sent back to Nike, there were fewer pairs to go around. So, you know, uh, it sucks. I have to want like your point is very valid. Like the whole trophy room neutral gray, that kind of uh, set the stage for a Carmine release that mm-hmm. technically should have gone smoothly in most spots. Yeah. I didn't know that it was going to be this difficult to get this shoe, but then uh, the numbers you spoke about. Yeah, yeah that's it. It, it shouldn't, it stuff. shouldn't have, it shouldn't have been that, that, uh, but because they had to, re- I, I don't know how many pairs they had to send back, but I'm, I, obviously it's a significant enough amount or significant enough that it was a uh, amount that they had to, I you know the, not many people could get, not, mm. I shouldn't say not many people. I'm sure a lot of people still got pairs, but right. not as many people got pairs as they should have. So mm-hmm. it wasn't as, like you said, it was, it was a difficult release for a lot of people, which sucks. And if anyone uh, got a pink midsole and they mm. need to fix that, where could they go, Sean? At 514 Restorations. There you go. 
They'll fix it up for you. They'll make it look brand new. They'll make it better, look uh, better yeah. than ninety one. Oh, my it, it'll be it'll be They're so white friends. that that would. That's <laughs> yeah, right. It's my brother though. I know that. Uh, I know that. <laughs> what might so Mitzel will be so white, uh, it'll blind you. How's Whoa! That? There you go. Oh, yeah. um, white. Oh, okay, let's get to the. Uh, We've mentioned it enough. The trophy oh, yeah. room. Yeah, we mentioned it a few times. Backdoor Air Jordan ones. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. 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 Backdoor Air Jordan ones. Well, when uh, I have to say, when I first saw this stuff, because everybody was seeing on social media, the, the pictures floating around with people with like dozens of pairs behind them uh, before the release. And at first, I was like, they're probably, you know, people are overreacting. These people probably have like high quality fakes, unauthorized pairs, whatever you want to call them, mm-hmm. UAs. Uh, but then I saw that kid. Uh, I he's a criminal. He's a criminal nowadays. But I don't know what Benjamin Kicks. Is that, oh yeah, is that? yeah. yeah. The plug. Yeah. OG yeah, the plug. The plug. The OG plug who, who actually sells to I think celebrities and stuff, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I think has a pretty legitimate business. And I saw he had like dozens of pairs. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Uh, that put my eye on the radar. Like, oh, sh- oh shit! Oh, this might be a real thing because the, the, obviously people were crying that it was backdoored. Everything was oh, backdoored yeah. and screaming for you know Marcus Jordan's uh, firing. Yep, uh, his card, which I don't think they realized that, uh, if they know uh, his last name's Jordan. So I don't sure that they, he'll be ever be fired from the company. But no, no. Um, his dad's name's on the building. But uh, yeah, that's kind of that. When I saw that picture of uh, Benjamin Kicks, I, I thought, oh well, maybe there's a little bit uh, more legitimacy to this claim that p- things were backdoored than than I had thought, and uh, mm. allegedly, allegedly. I just saw that. Oh, like, how many pairs are there in existence? For... There were supposed to be only twelve thousand, right, altogether. And oh. then all these people are showing up in uh, on social media with like yes. stacks and stacks of them. Yeah. Thousands of not hundreds, like, like Mike said, yeah. Wow, I'm like, all right. So how many are left for the actual release? I'm actually, I'm asking myself. Like, I don't doubt, I don't know who or what or who unlocked which door or what front back side. <laughs> if I don't there care. even was a door, was it more of a garage? What yeah. I like, <laughs> was there I'm a lock sure on it? <laughs> my chances of getting a pair were already like close to the zero mark. Of course, right. So I don't really care, but. I have to say, in terms of a uh, like, let's say, fan of Jordan One perspective, yeah, it, it kind of sullies this release. Like, fuck it, I don't, I don't need a pair. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was, it was one of the, it's one of those releases where it's like, it's I have it. zero shot, so I'm not even gonna put any mind to it. Right. I'm, I'm gonna think like I, I entered their raffle, which their ra- even their raffle was shady. I mean, you had yeah. to, you had to send an email to Trophy Room. With right. your size, wow. I'm like, and then if you get an email back, ooh, you've got a yeah, chance. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe, you know. So there's no way to track that, or it, it, the whole thing was weird, man. And uh, it's a shame. Again, it's another sort of shady, shady look. It's not a good look for mm. when. And I know. mean, so let's say you you show up with a pair of uh, Jordan One Trophy Room, right? On mm. on feet in your hands. Like, hey guys, look what I got. My mind what? goes to you. You're you're wearing fakes. Right now, your or, or that you paid it like right four thousand dollars price for <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. exorbitant amount or yeah. you're part of the problem <laughs> yeah 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 right yeah and then I'm like well fuck okay cool dude what else you know like yeah. if you showed if you showed me a, a pair of neutral gray ones I'd be more like oh let me let me take a look at those yeah I'm gonna see those closer yeah I don't care about your trophy one bro. no yeah. Certainly. But you know, Marcus, you know where to send them to. Right? Yeah, exactly. If you just for the review, right? Right. Right. We'll we you can send an email to the sneaker podcast. That's right. Gmail. And we'll if we reply black, that means we want the shoe. We yeah. want it. Yes. <laughs> Friend of the pod. Friend but uh, aside yeah. from that, soon no. to be ending. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this release has been fucked. But you know what? Like when we first saw the shoe, when it first like popped up on social media that this was a thing. I think it grabbed a lot of people and a lot of people's interest went through the roof. But yeah. now it's like, yeah. it's ruining it. It's done. Yeah. It's over. It, yeah. it's like, it turned the corner. Yeah. It turned Throw the your hands up. up. Yeah. Good I need point. the shoe to fuck that shoe. Fuck Marcus yeah. Gordon and fuck the shoe. Exactly. You know, it's not, a, not, a, your not words, the way not you want to do yeah, business. Yeah. You but I, I really did. I, I, there was a second there where I was like, before all the shenanigans happened, I'm like, fuck, I need the shoe because they put a little story about how they're actually calling it the freeze out one because oh. it's based on the whole theme behind it is that it was the Jordan's first uh, all-star game in his rookie year. 
where the story goes that a legend goes that he was frozen out by the the veterans in the team because they thought he was too flashy and stuff and mm -hmm. he only scored seven points and they they didn't pass him the ball blah 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 so that's why the the shoe has like a sort of a icy glossy look to it has his signature on it the bottom has the stars so it's like sort of the all-star game kind of thing so i like the story behind it and then uh i saw benjamin kicks with like 100 pairs behind him and i was like well fuck this sneaker <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah wow <laughs> By Good luck to you everyone. Mean Isaiah Thomas, right? That's right. That's right. And fuck him too. <laughs> Good luck to but everyone come on the show. who uh, wants to grab it. Yeah. <laughs> no, Good I'll luck like to you. Yeah. Good luck to you. Um, yeah. That's really all we all we can really say. You know. Here's when, when do you I, have can, zero can I, control? Yeah, oh, that's it. You have no, none of us have any control. And if, if you had no shot, you, you, let's say it was a completely legitimate release. Most people, the most of the sneaker world was not going to get the sneaker True. because there were only 12,000 pairs. Yeah. But this, right. I saw, this is something that a topic that I think, uh, net or, or, you know, a friend of the pod, net magnetism. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, put yeah, a topic, the topic on his, um, yes, yeah, hashtag confirmed. Um, on his Instagram and uh, his, I mean, obviously he's coming at, from, at it from the reseller side of things. Um, and, it's, there's, and I was agreeing with him what he was saying until I, I read uh, the part where he said um, that there's really, that comes down to if, you, if you're not willing to pay aftermarket prices, mm -hmm. then you don't really want the shoe. And in my mind, I thought, well, how that's not, that's not necessarily true. That's actually, that's not true at all because maybe right. it's, what about budget? Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe, yes. be, oh, so if I don't, if I can't pay two to $4,000 for the trophy room one, that means I didn't really want it. You know what I mean? Like it, it, there's a level to that. Argument. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, you didn't really want it that much, like to that level. Or you just can't afford that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Afford it. Like, <laughs> like it doesn't matter if, I mean, maybe if I'm a millionaire, I can, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'll pay that. But yeah. if, if it's like, I really, really want the shoe, but I can't afford yeah. $2,000. You shouldn't want a shoe to the $400 level. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. I don't Agreed. want to tell you what to do with your money, but. <laughs> it makes sense. If you sense. like shoes that much, maybe you need another hobby. <laughs> Yeah. So I just or, thought it was, it, it, I, I liked his take on it because I, I did, I did a, a, like a lot of what he said, or I, I agreed with a lot of what he said in his, in his uh, post. Uh, but I, when I saw that part of it, I was like, I don't know that I agree with the fact that if you don't like a shoe enough, you, you didn't like a shoe enough to, to pay the aftermarket price. Because again, people have budgets and people might yeah. be passionate about sneakers, but just can't afford to pay, mm -hmm. whether it's maybe $500 for a sneaker or $600 yeah. for a sneaker let alone, you know, uh, 2000 to $4,000 for a sneaker. So it's not all about, uh, you know, how much you're willing it's to not spend. About it's about what you can spend. But senses. Exactly, Mike. Thanks for wrapping that up in a nice little bow for me. <laughs> no, but like, you'd rather, you'd Do rather be a sneakerhead and live inside somewhere than outside in a box and have a badass pair yes, of sneakers. I don't, yeah, exactly. Mm. Exactly. You know? Right. Yeah. 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 Again, Practicality. sneakers, Johnson. house to live in. Yeah. I mean... Right. Everything oh, right. Else. Free clo. Yeah. <laughs> free clo. Hashtag free free clo. Hashtag free clo, everyone. Put it on the gram. And this Put is it in not their sneaker picks. Exactly. And I, this is we have to clear something up. People might think that clo is free in terms of like he's not we don't have to pay anything for him. <laughs> yeah. No. This is he's he's stuck somewhere and he's we need stuck. to let him loose. That's yeah. right. That, yeah. No, I don't want there to be any confusion. He's not we True. will not pay for clo. No, we will not pay for He's clo. always been free to us. Yes. Yes. What? <laughs> or accessible, as he would say. <laughs> no, I don't know about this tangent here. I don't know I don't where it's know. going. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes See what I happens, Clo, when you're not here? That's yeah, right. Huh? That's right. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah, it's um, confusing. <laughs> Whew, enough rooms. about that. Yeah. Enough about yeah. that. But uh, yeah, ne neutral gray ones. Very nice. Gorgeous. I know they released again in Canada we're still waiting on some raffle results yeah very nice tomorrow Be beautiful shoe man very nice oh, beautiful yeah. shoe it's got that 85 cut Classy. nice nice leather oh yeah. man the the swoosh is like suede suede mm -hmm. and so is the collar mm. great collar yeah suede very nice nice gorge gorge yeah very nice well I would like to know what people think of the neutral gray uh, one you know uh, Jordan one like that especially so no, I don't want to say plain. Okay, it is plain. Though. It, is it is plain, but it's plain. like clean. It's super yeah. clean. Yeah, great summer shoe. Yeah, great. The nice pair of denim, yeah. light denim. Yeah. 
Koala. I have to say, essential denim. Go ahead. Oh, go oh, ahead. yes, essential denim. Yeah. Um, go ahead, Chris. Neutral gray Jordan One in terms of Jordan One lore, Jordan One rankings and such. Way higher than a trophy room one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah. of course, of course. Yes, 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 yes. That's one. That's uh, one man's opinion. That yeah. doesn't People have do go 4, crazy. Uh, my OG guys go crazy, and I know I'm usually one of those guys too. But I, I don't know that I care necessarily this much about the neutral gray ones but the original name was natural gray it was white right. and natural gray yeah and people are really pissed off that it's not and again i'm it's, it's hypocritical of me to say this but i go i don't just i just don't care about the, the, the this name this particular name but uh yeah it, i don't care if it's neutral gray or natural gray it doesn't really matter to me <laughs> if you said september blue instead of sport blue i'd fucking fight you in the street though oh <laughs> just the cuffs all right, right. wow <laughs> wow but, don't cross yeah. uncle scott that's right oh uh, well just I, as a side another tangent Sorry. just another tangent yeah, yeah. i think this is where we have to we'll, we'll be called yeah. tangent right the tangent podcast all right chris yep um most recently i've had uh, uh well not recently most of the time most of the time i like to uh text my friends and ask their opinions about uh, potential purchases, um, um, a lot of the questions are like, "Is do I need this? Or should I keep this? Do I need to keep this? Do Should I work on trying to get this pair? Blah, blah. And uh, most recently, I think I asked Sean about uh, a trade, the trade yeah. that I spoke of earlier uh, this podcast. It was involving... The Air Max 93 in the, I think it's called a Dusty Cactus. Dust, dusty Cactus, something like that, yeah. Right. Uh, so it's Air Max 93. I guess we could call it, is that like the, the OG colorway that people know? Yes. Right. Yeah. Of that, that, model, that model of the Air Max, that's the, that's the OG color, colorway that people like. Yeah. So the, I was presented oh, with a for. potential trade right. of getting that pair uh, in worn condition, adding a bit of money, and I would trade away a pair of Air Max 90 infrared or Air Max 3 radiant red, whichever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And um, so Sean's opinion on that was like, I don't know about getting a worn pair for a DS pair. Normally, I'm not down for that. Then I'm like, gotcha. But I go, but I'm still doing it. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> You know, so I got his point of view, but yeah. I wasn't really asking Sean, Sean, should I do the trade or not? Right. My question was more, is the Air Max 93 a desirable shoe? Do people like it? Should I try to get it? Right. Yes. And I think your answer was yes. That's yes, a good for shoe. Sure. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, why am I not asking Sean whether I should do the trade or not? Because I know Sean. Sean is a guy. <laughs> you knew what I would say. <laughs> no, Sean is a guy that might not go for worn pairs. Yes, exactly. He prefers the DS. I prefer. So I have to take all that into consideration yes. while I ask for his counsel. I'm a very complex man. <laughs> um, Actually, it's the opposite. I'm not at all. <laughs> I also, every now and then, will ask Clo about some stuff. I'll ask him, do I need to keep this Jordan 1 game royal? His the answer or should I no. get rid of it? He's like, no. Nope. <laughs> that one, he was like, yes. Oh, wow. Should I, do I need to keep the Mocha once? He's like, yes. Do I oh. need to keep Turbo Green? He's like, no. No. Mm -hmm. So right. very close, yes. very clear, very yes. decisive. Yes. And he gives me his opinion. And I like Clo's opinion because I know that he's not too much about quantities and getting as many pairs as you can. It's a lot about whether that shoe really fits the wearer. Right. So uh, it got me thinking of uh, what type of advisor, what type of consigliere is mm. valued in such situations? What should people look for in an advisory team, a support group of some kind? Oh, Ooh. shit. Mm -hmm. The consultant. Wow. It all comes uh, together. And how do we build a proper group to give you advice in times of indecision? Yeah. Good question. Uh, I think I tend to 
take take it, which is stupid because I, I think I'm, I'm very, you know, uh, as we all know, I'm very uh, comfortable in my lane that I'm in. Uh, so I tend to take advice from people that are like-minded. So I, right. I know, I know the answer. <laughs> I know the answer already. Uh, you're gonna ask, but you're like, I know what's yeah. coming. So. Yeah, but I mean, it's, I, I guess like Chris, anyway. Chris, when Chris asked me, he knew sort of the lane I'm in, and he knew what my answer, what feeling would be about getting a used sneaker, but still wanted my uh, part of my answer to be about whether or not it's a a, a desirable sneaker. Um, so I guess there, that does play play a little bit of a role in my decision making too. When I if I I don't know that I've ever necessarily asked somebody, right. Uh, do you, you know, what do you think of, should I get the sneaker? Mm-hmm. Or do I like the sneaker? I'm usually just know what I, I, I like. And that's, that's, I, I go how my, about, own, my own gut. How about when giving advice then? So like I came to you and I yeah. asked you a question. You didn't tailor the answer to me. No, I tailored the answer to, it's always my own opinion. Yeah, for sure. It's always, it's always, it's always coming from my, uh, my own thoughts and feelings. I, right. I, 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 I it, when I, when I was answering it, that, that text, I knew that you would have <laughs> that my 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 feelings about used sneakers would not have any effect on you whatsoever. No, no. I knew I knew that because I know you buy used sneakers and I don't I don't care what you do with you. It's it's your thing. Yeah. But uh so yeah, but I, I having said that, I wasn't gonna like change and go, hey, yeah, no, it's a great thing because it's a great, you know, yeah. Uh, I like that colorway, it's a great sneaker, and uh, I don't care if it's used. No, I said I, I would never do it. <laughs> I, yeah, the great part of it was like okay, Sean, look at this trade, this pair worn plus some cash for this shoe. And right off the bat, he's like, well, I would never trade to get a worn for a DS. And then, I don't care. I said, I don't care how much money's put on top. <laughs> yeah. I don't care how much money's put on top. And I go, okay. My answer to that was like, right, right. Right. <laughs> and then his next comment was, uh, and, but that's a great shoe. I got it for $60. Yeah. At the store, like yeah, I didn't, re- well, yeah, I didn't yeah, at, a, at a retailer. <laughs> so I'm like, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So ah. yes, it's a good shoe, but yeah. if but if not that it, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a great shoe, but it's also only a sixty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Price right. and everything. Yeah, but yet it is. But where's exactly. Mike? Where does Mike? I mean, Mike. Mike, I think, and if I could, you're my I'm counsel. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter into your, into your brain for a second. Bring it on, bring it on, Sean. Mike, uh, because he's more the, the, of the newer sneaker enthusiast on the in our club here in our little team. Mm-hmm. Uh, you sought, you had to seek advice from people because yeah. you were sort of new to it. So it was a had to build experience on, for you. Uh, build from nothing, right? Yeah. And uh, it was nothing, and I went down a lot of ways I wish I did not go down because you didn't even I know did not seek size. counsel. <laughs> What? <laughs> you didn't even know your own shoe size. I didn't. <laughs> For years, I wore yeah. sizes twice as big than I needed. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah. so uh, you guys are my counsel. I go to you guys whenever I you know need advice, or I go to Chris, or I go to Clo, or I go to Sean, and uh, you know, I just when it, when it comes to giving advice about sneakers, yes, I'm more on the practical maybe sometimes tech side of things, especially when it mm-hmm. comes to someone asking me about a pair of Adidas or something like that. But when it comes to myself, I've, uh, I'm always looking for the, yeah, like yeah, uh, the other day, Chris, <laughs> yeah. we were talking yesterday and I told him about the whole Bape thing. I was like, hey, I could get this pair of Bapes for this price, this, this, and I broke it down for him. And then he's like, it is decided. <laughs> Done. Decided. It is decided. <laughs> yes, 100%. But you also are those guys that, hey, this? Oh, no, no. You don't do that now. You look like, you get this. Hold. Yeah, yeah. hold. Hold. Stay, Holding pattern. Stay on target, but yeah. hold. Exactly. Right. And that's why I haven't pulled the trigger on those, on those green babes yet. Because I'm just, <clears throat> I'm not there yet. But I'll, I'll go to you for like uh, Adidas, especially mm-hmm. ZX questions. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you more in terms of not, not whether you would get it. Mm-hmm. Or if it, it's to your liking specifically, but it's I'll ask you questions about what's this shoe's importance in the line. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And Kinda. I like it because you could be objective, mm-hmm. regardless of your personal feelings towards that colorway. Yeah. yeah. And that's what you kind of got to do, right? You got to kind of give that unbiased opinion as much as you can because 
everyone likes their own shit, you know, but, you know, giving advice to someone else who is in a different lane, like yourself, Sean, um, uh, is difficult. But, you know, you just got to be honest. Honesty is everything, especially when it comes to yeah. giving advice like that. For sure. Yeah. I think when giving advice, you have to figure out what that person's goal is. Mm -hmm. Like what, what they're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Like you guys have given me lots of advice in terms of like, um, like the selling, selling aspect of things mm. and what, what I could get rid of and how much I could you know, get for things. And uh, I've yet to sell a pair. So that obviously didn't work, but um, <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. still contemplating going down that road just because I, there's a couple of things I, I really don't think I need anymore. But, um, but yeah, that I, I do. I actually, I, I'll joking aside, I do value that kind of thing. Cause I, I sometimes takes me, even with it, when it comes to anything, whether it's buying a new TV or buying a computer, or buying a phone, I like to mull it over for a long time. Mm -hmm. I like to research. I like to hear people's opinions on stuff, certain things. Maybe not as much sneakers, but I do always take into consideration the stuff that you guys have told me about uh, the aftermarket and, and you know, uh, value of things. And uh, even though the value doesn't really mean that much to me now, maybe it will one day. So it's always in my back pocket and I always appreciate what you guys have to offer. Wow. So you guys, it's Valentine's Day, so I threw you a bone. <laughs> that's all awesome. very romantic of you man <laughs> thank you it was very practically so practical sweet. but yet romantic at the same time yeah. i'm wearing a pink hoodie so it's yeah. uh yeah it's weird though because <laughs> you'll ask us advice we'll give it to you it yeah. clearly hasn't taken as you no. mentioned yeah. but it will eventually take that's it what i'm will, telling will, you yeah it will at, at a certain point the advice starts becoming like an annoyance, like a bad dream. Yes, of some sort. I, I can so. understand that. I can understand that. We've told him many times he should do this, and he's not doing it <laughs> for years. We've told him, so yeah. we're just not going to give him any advice anymore. <laughs> but it's uh, nice but just know give, that I've appreciated it. It's uh, nice when you give advice, though, and then down the line, it ends up paying off for yeah, the person. Yeah, that it will. Them, it will. You, you know? see. Yeah. yeah, you'll see. Twenty twenty five is my year. Yeah, like when someone contacts you and says, "Hey, should I get this now?" No, hold, 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 and then they're able to get it for fifty off. Mm. Boom, boom. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's I still really can't. Good. I still can't. I can't. Uh, I can't adhere to that rule either. Just wait, wait, and it'll pay off. You'll get yeah, a discount. I hear you. I, mean, I, well, I'm, I'm, I got panic, and I need. I need the sneaker now. <laughs> different lanes, Sean. Yeah. Different. different I'm lanes. in a different lane. I'm in a different lane. Different yeah. lane. You're in the express lane. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah exactly. I like that express I'm in, I'm in the, lane. I'm in the collectors. Yeah. You know. Hey, oh, you're in the yo. Uh, uh, Tor uh, Toronto has the collectors. Sense. That's right. Oh, yeah, exactly. The heck is that? Express and the collectors on the four one. It's exactly the same as the express sneakers. lane. It's just on the side. Yeah. It's just. <laughs> it's just over. It's just right. over to the right. Yeah. All right. It's still just four lanes the, of the traffic right. going 120. But That's still. Right. By the way, just on a side note, uh, how's the weather in Toronto today? Oh, uh, I think we got some snow. Pretty bright outside. Nice. Haven't been outside today, so you've looked out the window. I imagine something. Yes, I'm looking out the window right now. It is pretty bright out there. Uh, I'm okay. gonna walk into work yeah. sooner than later. So uh, very chilly, know. very chilly here in Montreal these it, days. It it's is getting cool. Balls yeah. out cold. Yeah, it's it cold. is. I'm ice cold. Ice, ice cold. Yeah, ice, yeah, yeah. ice, mm. baby, baby. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, okay, well, let's wrap things up, guys. Before we go, we do have some audience messages kicking around in our inbox. Uh, what do we got, Chris? All right, we have a first message from a uh, friend of the pod, Bird Cub 76. Shout out to Bird Cub. Uh, his name is Jason. He goes, Hey, boys, got a question for you. So I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos with tips on how to improve your chances of getting a W on sneakers. Common themes seem to be doing things like changing your sex to women's and linking your payment to PayPal to differentiate yourself from the bots. I'm wondering if any of you have your own tips or have tried with success any of the various tips to get a W. 2020 was an all-time taking an L for me, and I'm hoping the new year brings better luck starting with the upcoming car mines. Well... We've seen how that played out. <laughs> that, that's a perfect uh, message for given our discussion today. Uh, yeah, yeah. From flooding our feeds. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how, if I have any advice for that in terms of taking different routes or bots. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have any uh, tips for that. By my record, you would yeah. not want any of my advice. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. I don't think a lot of us do very well online. So, no, yeah. the the sneakers app, especially that. That's it's not even technically our 
our lane we're like yeah. in canada like our app doesn't even is not even an app like it's not an app it's, yeah, a, it's a website it's a web page so yeah it's all luck for me it's all luck. I, yeah and i cling to the belief that it is fair and very random so yes or else keep clinging know, yeah <laughs> keep clinging <laughs> keep clinging <laughs> that's right fingertips so fingertips <laughs> yeah yeah and it really is all luck at this point it really is yeah yeah um we have a a message from Manny. It's Manuel Fresh 85. Ah. Hello, gents. Thanks for all of you. What? Thank you. No. Thanks for all you do for me ah. on my commute to work. Sorry about that. Hey. I was inspired to message by Chris mentioning his Wu Tang kick brick and close recent acquisition of the Iowa Dunk High. I wanted to send a picture of my Iowa themed kicks. As a proud 2014 alum from the University of Iowa and a sneakerhead, it was only right I had to give one more shout out to the Hawkeyes. Cool. Um, quick story. There is a skate shop in Iowa City, and I made the trip back to get the Be True Iowa Dunk Lows. They sold out of my size, but a guy in the parking lot sold it for $25 over retail and a case of beer. Wow. Funny. <laughs> wow. And a case. After moving out of Iowa back to Chicago to pursue teaching back in my home city, my friend calls me last year as he is cleaning out our storage we keep in Iowa and found the famed dunks that I assumed I lost in the move. Dope. Mm. They escaped unharmed and the box came back to me with only a bit of water damage. Thanks again for all you do for spreading the positivity. Man, uh, shout out Manny. Yeah, so he cool. sends shout a picture with his wow. uh, Iowa Hawkeye gear. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that kick break that I got from uh, the Net Magnetism raffle, uh, I think two people reached out to like, that they wanted it and they do have ties to Iowa. So it seems right to me. I'm going to do a two person draw. <laughs> cool. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it at that. So yeah, shout out for the message, uh, Manuel. Shout out. And Thank you, Manny. One last message. One more. From, uh, I think it's a new listener, 514 oh. Restorations. Oh, shit. Oh, I've that. heard of them. Yep. Um, hey, guys. Heard good things. I just wanted to reach out and say you are all doing an amazing job. Such a great listen every week. I love hearing all your opinions on the new shoes releasing. <laughs> Keep up the good work. And yes, I have a speaker in my shower and listen to you in there. Enjoy that visual. That can't be my brother. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, let's hope Then not. he says, new <laughs> shoes. Oh, uh, yeah. Couple of questions for, all, uh, for you all. Don't have to answer all if you may have already. What would you say is your shoe of the past decade? So you're the shoe of your past decade. And also, what shoe is your biggest regret passing on in the last five years? Did you acquire it at a later time? And what pair would you not be caught dead wearing? Take care, guys. Signed, Sean. Oh, brother of brother Sean. Of Sean. Yeah, he has a radio in the shower? Yeah, now I you know. Need, need, <laughs> Make sure you go over with a towel. I need to have a chat with that young man. <laughs> <laughs> Just show up one day with a towel. Hey, I'm here for your shower. That's right. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. All right. We, got, uh, we are stepbrothers. Uh, technically stepbrothers. So. Whoa, that doesn't make it better. <laughs> I don't know why that needed some explanation. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Shout out to uh, Sean, brother of Sean. <laughs> uh, first question. What would you say is your shoe of the past decade? So, Whew. yeah. 2010 to 2020. One. Oh, man. Go year by year here. <laughs> I don't know, man. 10. Are we own? Hmm? That we own, or just shoe? Oh, yeah, I think I it's guess. just any. Uh, or I mean, oh, we? I guess it could be either or, right? Trophy just... room one for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natural gray one. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, I have to say, uh, for me, it's black and red one. It, it okay, changed yeah, my yeah. whole. For me, it changed my whole right. personal. It changed like, and there's been at least three releases of that shoe. Two releases of that shoe, right? During that period, so good enough for me. I guess, I guess I'll say. I mean, we, you know, maybe people pissed off, but 
the only thing that I'm thinking of right now is the, the, the airship because it was just such a, mm. a story that came back, mm-hmm. that it came back and uh, it had never been seen in light of day ever, except for on Michael Jordan's feet, that version of the airship or both versions of the airship, I guess the black and red and the, uh, the white and red. Uh, so that, and that I, I like that, that that came back. Um, mm-hmm. Fortunate to get a pair, obviously. Right. Um, yeah, I think I think that would be my pick. I so guess. Are you calling the model the airship? So that that gives you not both the no ways? no. It's, just, it's more the story that came. Yeah, the, the story that came with with the airship. The, the the fact that it came back after the for the first time. I, I shouldn't say it came, came back. It, it just it was released for the first time ever. Yes, true, true. I mean, true. the airship existed back in '84, but it was very different than what Michael Jordan wore on feet. Mm. So the fact that they brought back basically two PEs that Michael Jordan wore is pretty pretty crazy story. And your specific story connects. And my story that is attached right. to it as well is a fucking not 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 so story. <laughs> not so. <laughs> not so. Yeah. Mike? I don't know. It's a tough one. Five thousand, six thousand, ten thousand. Whatever no. it's gonna be. No. no, I thought uh for myself it would probably be my twenty thirteen Air Jordan One Chicago. Oh, that you're gonna now sell for <laughs> Oh, you don't have it. Anymore, <laughs> do you? I know. I still got. He it. has it. Oh I shit! Got it. I got it. I got you all my Jordans recently. in one closet. All my the you can, you can sell that for fifteen hundred bucks now uh, and buy a twenty fifteen. That, that, that's probably a cheaper. I think. So that's one of my things <laughs> that it was like. Uh, I think that that was also in the question with uh, a shoe that we missed out on. Right. Our biggest regret. Right. Regret. Right. Yeah. So regret. 20, 2013 Chicago one was probably my shoe of the decade. And then the 2015 Chicago one is my biggest regret not getting. Right, right. Mm. right. So, hmm. yeah, I'll answer two there. Boom. Wow, two with birds with one mic. And no, I did not acquire it later. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Three birds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, right. Regrets, eh? Do you have regrets. a regret? Regrets. Regrets. Regrets that I missed out on. Um, passing on. Was it those fives passing released at All Star Weekend? The fives? Yeah, Which five the pony oh. hair ones. <laughs> five, those sixes. There were six. <laughs> yeah, those oh, are bad. Oh, that store. Yeah, yeah that the social there. status. Social, social status. status. Five, sixes. Yeah, the black and purple pony hair. That was it. Uh, yeah, those were those. Yeah. Anyway, no. Uh, passed on and regret. I don't think so. I. I mean, it's not that I passed on or maybe didn't get. <laughs> right. Like it's more of a didn't get right. type of situation. More of an L. Yeah. Um. Can't really say. I don't regret much. Like, yeah, don't dwell much. Yeah, the fact that I can't think of anything means that it probably exactly. is, it's not something I regret. Yeah. yeah, living my best life. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, just move to the sure. last question. What? Yeah. What pair would you not be caught dead wearing? Huh? The trophy room ones. Oh shit! Yeah, keeping <laughs> on, keeping like staying that. topical, topical. I like that. Full circle. Uh, <laughs> full circle, exactly. Uh, I would say uh, Yeezys, any Yeezy. Oh, <laughs> all right. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say a uh, Adidas Derupt. Oh, oh, remember those? That's a good one, too, bro. Yeah, remember those? <laughs> oh, Derupt. man. Dillinger <laughs> Web. Uh, Dill- <laughs> Dill- <laughs> Never <laughs> catch me. Never catch Derupt. me. One of those. Derupt. Derupt. Catch me outside, but not in a Derupt. No. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's good picks. Uh, thanks for the good message. Picks. Uh, Sean, brother. The real Sean. Sean. Yeah, the real Sean. Sean one, and I'm Sean two. Yeah. Well, or Sean. Cool. You said it. Sean 23. (laughs) All right, guys. Uh, Also, before we wrap up things, we want to give a big shout out to uh, someone who has been a big time listener of this podcast, a big time supporter of this podcast since like day one, and has always been riding with us, going through a tough time right now. Our boy, Frank Cubicle 38. Cubicle 38, yeah. Cubicle 38. You've seen him on the gram, everyone. You've yep. seen him. He's always flaunting his stuff. He's got some nice pickups. He's been really into bike riding lately. Not now. It's it's cold out. I, yeah. I can. He's told me that. So I I know Frank from high school. We were different yeah, years, crazy. but same high school. He told that and story on the pod back in the day. How exactly. you guys like he reconnected. Found, he, fo- he refound me or found me. Uh, and found each Because other. of the podcast. He just... Started crazy. listening to the podcast. He goes, oh, shit. Wow. And I know he that guy. got into sneakers or is more interested into sne- in sneakers because of the podcast. Wow. Whether that's 100% true or not, I don't know, but let's run with it. 
And, uh, <laughs> you know, he's, yeah, it's tough times for Frank right now. Yeah. Um, if anyone knows him or, you know, would like to get to know him, just, just give him a little shout on yeah. uh, through the DMs. Super nice guy. Very Salt good guy. Yeah. Salt yeah. the earth. Great guy. Do so, anything uh, to help anyone. Yeah. All 100%. Great yeah. dude. He, he, Frank, gave me the grid knee sleeve that Michael Jordan once wore. Yep. Oh. Yeah, so I I would never would have owned that. I I would I love the fact that I own that. I can slide on the, the same uh, calf sleeve or slash knee sleeve that Michael Jordan wore because Frank gave it to me. Yeah, yeah. I, just for no reason out of the goodness, goodness of his heart. Yeah. He just he yeah. said, "Here, I know you're a huge fan. I have a few of these. Take one." Mm-hmm. Very cool mm-hmm. guy. Frank Very was cool. able to hook me up with uh, an OG pair of the uh, retro Ultra Boost OGs. Oh, he hooked, yeah, he hooked wow. me up. He had a pair. He was able to hook it up. So nice. Always looking out for the for community. Sure. Always looking out for his friends. Uh, big shout out to Frank. Go hit him up. Go follow him. Yes. Kinkle 38 on the gram. Just say hi. Just flood Whatever. his DMs yeah, hello. with yeah. love. Just like all the love. Yeah. yeah. Just like, hey, I heard you're a great guy. That's all I need to say. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll reply with, you heard correctly. <laughs> <laughs> you did hear correctly. Yeah. Uh, so shout, shout out to Frank. We yeah, love you, Frank, out, buddy. Love you, bro. Um, uh, and that's it. That's been it. That's... Uh, that's this episode of the Sneaker Podcast. We really appreciate everyone listening, everyone watching on the on uh, YouTube. Uh, yes, we are back on YouTube. Go follow us on YouTube. Go subscribe. Hit that like button and hit that notification bell for when uh, when uh, we post the podcast. Uh, dang, dang. Also, big shout out to our friends over at Podbean for hosting us over the years. Don't forget, you can find us anywhere a podcast can be found in the audio format, Spotify, anywhere. Literally anywhere. Go check it out and uh, follow us on the gram at the Sneaker Podcast. You can get all of us on there too. Uh, Chris, where can people find you? At Christopher.chu and at Traffic Boys. Traffic Boys. Follow the Traffic Report as well. Traffic Report Podcast. Uh, Sean, where can people find you? At Escalade 23 and at Support Group. Follow the OG Support Group. You can get our boy Chlorel at Chlorel on the gram. You can get myself at On Air with Mike D. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we'll catch you next week with a brand new episode. Until then, have a great day. Have a great night. Keep them laced, everyone. Peace. 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 Pen to watch. Pen to watch. <laughs> Hashtag free clothes. Eat Chloe. We're not paying for Chloe is what I'm trying to say. We're not paying for him, and then we want him to be free. <laughs>